Musa and Fatu were each asked to factor the quadratic expression 16x squared minus 64. Their responses are shown below. So Musa factored it this way, Fatu factored it this way. Which student wrote an expression that is equivalent to 16x squared minus 64? So I encourage you to pause the video and figure that out. Which student wrote an expression that is equivalent to our original one, 16x squared minus 64? Well, let's work through it together. So let's see if first we can factor this out somehow to get what Musa got. And it looks like Musa first factored out a 16, and then he was left with a difference of squares. So let's see if we can do that. So we can write our original expression, 16x squared minus 64. We can write that as 16 times x squared minus 16 times 4. And when you write it like that, it's very clear that you can factor out a 16. So this is going to be equal to a 16 times, what you have left over is x squared minus 4. And then x squared minus 4, that's the, that's the difference of squares right over there. So we can, that part, we can factor as, so we have our original 16. And then, and then this part right over here, we can write as x plus 2 times x minus 2. x plus 2 times x minus 2. If what I just did in this last step, going from x squared minus 4 to x plus 2 times x minus 2 doesn't make any sense. I encourage you to watch some of the introductory videos on factoring difference of squares. But the basic idea, I have a form here of a squared minus b squared. So it's going to have the form of a plus b times a minus b. In this case, it's x squared minus 2 squared. So it's going to be x plus 2 times x minus 2. So that's exactly what Musa got. So this one. So Musa did get an expression that is equivalent to 16x squared minus 64. Now let's think about Fatu. So Fatu didn't factor out a 16 from the get-go. It looks like he just immediately recognized that what we, our original expression is itself a difference of squares, even if we don't factor out a 16. And so let's rewrite it. So our original expression we could write as, so we could write it, instead of writing well, let me just write it like this. This is our original expression. 16x squared minus 64. That's the same thing as, 16x squared is the same thing as 4x, the whole thing squared, and then minus 8 squared. So when you write it like this, it's clear that this is a difference of squares. So this is going to be 4x plus 8 times 4x minus 8. 4x plus 8 times 4x minus 8. Once again, if this last step that I did doesn't make a lot of sense, I encourage you to watch the video on factoring difference of squares. We will go a lot more into the intuition of it. But when you see it this way, you realize that Fatu also got an expression that is equivalent to 16x squared minus 64. So they both did.